So, what up, guys? Mad Viking here. Uh, just wanted to get a video out. Obviously, I didn't get a video out on Tuesday. Wrestling is canceled again. At least by me. So no more ACW for the foreseeable future or IPW. They had a show in July. So I'm sure the NXT show in a few days is canceled too. I'm so sick of this crap. But in my moments of free time this week, I was uh, noticing last week uh, that the Ghostbuster figures were starting to hit stores. And the only store that I saw them in, there was only two figures left. And of course, they were damaged, so I didn't buy them. But I did run out to two other targets by me, and I managed to secure the entire set. So I'm a very happy man. Uh, so I figured I would show, show you the new figures and show you my figures from a few years back and maybe do a figure comparison. So let me just jump into it here. Let me grab these two. There's a Mandy figure. Uh, I don't know what I think of these. Some look good. And up close, uh, I can't remember because I'm going to have to look again. But I thought some of them did not have good face facial scans. But I did notice they seem to have the, uh, the Mattel figure uh, articulation. So we're going to start off here with uh, Vakeman. This is called the Plasma Series. So as you can see, they're going the way of Marvel. And you got to buy six figures to get the uh, Build-A-Figure, the uh, Vins, whatever that's called, chlor Chlorotho. And uh, I thought about it later. I'm like, these sneaky B uh, BSers are going to make people buy 12 figures. Because uh, if you're a figure collector and you want to have a scene or something, you're not buying one set to have one of those when you know damn well there's two of them in the movies. So they're going to con people into buying two sets. <laughs> but anyways, this is Peter Venkman. Now, face scan. It's not horrible. It's not bad. Uh, so you can see it comes with one of the legs to the monster. You get the trap, the proton pack. Not a lot of detail, but I mean, there wasn't a lot of detail in their costumes. This basically looks like the basic Peter Venkman. So that one I'm not too discouraged with. Uh, next we have Ray stands. Maybe it was, yeah, Ray. I would, did not like Ray's head scan. Let me see. Does that look like Ray to you? No, it doesn't. And of course it comes with his goggles, proton pack, another leg. Uh, not the best, not the best stands figure. So we'll put him over here. Next up we have Winston Zedmore. This one, face scan wise, I thought they nailed him. It's pretty good. Now, as you can see, his comes with a proton pack and an actual beam. So he, he comes, uh, it'll look like he's actually shooting his pack. So not a lot of detail here, but you can see by just looking at the, the knees and the arms, it looks just like a WWE elite figure minus the torso that you can bend uh, in the chest. But uh, that's Zedmore. I'll save her. I'll save her. Whoops. Next we have Egon Spangler. He was the last piece that I had to had problems trying to secure the entire set. But I got him at the last store I went to. There's his head scan. I'd say it's pretty good. You got the AKG meter. His proton pack. Another leg. All these guys come with legs. <laughs> or did I miss it here? Yeah, that's a lower leg. All right. So there's Spangler. Uh, I only found one of her, but I'm glad I did. And of course, I'm referring to Gozer. I don't think there's ever been a Gozer figure made. Uh, face, I don't know. That's kind of bad. But I guess I would have to watch the movie again to uh, really get an opinion. Now, she's got the little chest bendy part. So basic articulation. That's what she looked like. Gozer. 
I did find a couple of her, but I don't need her anymore. Who's got the head? Oh, she's got the head. All right, she comes with the head. And uh, who is it? Dana Barrett comes with the body, obviously. But here she is. This is what? So Courtney, we Courtney, Courtney, we so Courtney Weaver. There you go. I don't know why her eyes are red. Oh, that's supposed to be, I guess, when she was possessed and floating. Because uh, otherwise, why is her eyes red like she's a demon? <laughs> so I'm going to put these two over here. And we're going to do comparisons with these figures that came out. Uh, let's see. These came out. Ooh. I would tell you if I can see it. 2016. So they're four, almost five years old. All right, we're going to need Zedman straight off the back. These figures are bigger, and they did kind of come with a Build-A-Figure, but not really. You just got that, the Ghostbuster sign, which came on a stand. These I were in love with for whatever reason when they first came out. This one's a little dusty, even though it's been in a box. So this is... I'm trying so you can see him, Zedman. Get a better look at his face. We got, why is it so dark? We got Zedman. There you go, it's a little bit better. And then side by side comparison. As you can see, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, this dude's face seems to be a little bit more detailed. But, uh,. That's that dude. That's his comparison. Who is this? This is Stan's. See, his facial scan here is a lot better. Looks very much like Dan Aykroyd. Didn't have a, didn't have a problem with him. Where are you? Whoop. I'm getting sloppy here. Oh, that's Stan. See, he looks so bad I don't even recognize him. <laughs> that's... Not good. Sorry about this guy. Oh, you guys get to see my litter box. So we have this stands compared with this stands. The winner is obvious. It's this guy. <laughs> so let me put this down here for a second because now I got to get into another whoop, into another box. Let me pause it. So here we go. This should be a little bit better. I've moved my light around so it's a little bit brighter. We have this versions of Peter Vankman, very good head scan, mellow look. Where is he? And size him up, compare him. Hmm. This one might actually win this guy. I could be wrong. But as you see, there's really no comparisons, really. The suits are different colors. It's basically the same figure. Uh, there's a little bit more detail on this guy, but... So, I guess he won out. <sighs> this one's a box. I don't know how they're so dirty and they're sitting in boxes. So we have this version Spangler again. Facial scan. Side by side comparison to this dude. They might almost look... Mm, trying to give you a better angle. This guy on the left just looks so much worse. <laughs> So this guy might win out. See, they're, I guess, can't complain. They're not all perfect looking. But, uh, I am a fan of the series. Well, this, the movies, the cartoons. It's too poor to have any of the toys as a kid. Not that they were great, but man, are they worth a lot of money now these days. So, that is it. I wanted to show you this week's pickups. I managed to land all of the Ghostbusters and two different swoops, I should say. Uh, they are on the market right now. If you're looking for them, they're hitting. So uh, you can head out now. They are in both Target and Walmart, from what I understand. I have still not gone into a Walmart because uh, I just Walmart is dirty to begin with. That's <laughs> that's how I look at it. So, anyways, guys, that is it for now. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video, help the channel grow. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm very happy I got these all out of the way. I'm especially for the, happy with these two because, like I said, uh, there was another line of figures that came out just before Toys R Us closed, but I couldn't secure them. Like, my Target would only have three of them, three of the Ghostbusters, and I'd go to another Target about an hour away from my, uh, not Target, Toys R Us, 
about an hour or so from my house, and they would have like three, but they wouldn't have the whole set. And then at that set, they had, um, gosh, the, the the head baddie, the demon guy that lived in the painting in the second movie, and that's who I really wanted, and I never could find him. But so I'm kind of glad I didn't jump into that because then I would obviously have three sets of Ghostbusters, but I did want that villain. Now that I think about it, I can give me something to do and look on eBay or Amazon that I or Mark Harry, one of the two. But anyways, guys, that is it. Again, I'm signing off. No more wrestling again, which bugs me, and I'm sure it bugs you. So uh, please go back and watch those videos for me. Hit like. Show those guys support. They're well aware of my channel, uh, and some of them are too pop very, very loudly for me when not. I have a few that actually cross over a thousand views. And it's hard for me to even get that anymore with uh, NXT videos. And I used to get thousands, double digits in the thousands for every NXT video. And now I have the same problem. I'm lucky if I get a thousand. But anyways, please support the channel. Support the videos that I've put out recently. Hit like, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know. what. Oh, I have, a bunch of un I have a bunch of boxes to unbox. It's at this point I've got so many I don't even remember what are in those boxes. So, um... God, is tomorrow the third? Yeah, tomorrow's the third. I probably, maybe I'll make a 4th of July video to show off my fireworks again. And I can't promise anything else after that unless I make a video because uh, we're going on a little vacation after the 4th. So, anyways, I'm going to quit rambling and quit wasting your time. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit like. Mad Viking out. I will see you on the next one.